So something I've been thinking about for a few days, and hopefully it's a good enough subject and close and dear enough to my heart that I'm even willing to make a video longer than three minutes about it. Wouldn't that be something? Then a whopping total of four people would appreciate it too. I, I, I could live for that. <laughs> so something uh, shall not be infringed, who's now known as Reward Audacity. I'll try to put a link in the description below, or if he comments, on one of my videos, you might be able to find it. Go check them out. If you like Shauna Be Infringed, you'll most likely like Reward Audacity. Is that Audacity? Audacity. <laughs> Reward Audacity. Reward Audacity. I don't know how you pronounce it. It's not been pronounced for me. It has by Zebra Shark, but hasn't been for me. Okay. That was my that was my friend test, so only my friends are watching from here on out. Something Reward Audacity said about if your great grandfather is looking at you and your behavior, and if and if he would approve of your decision that you make or or what you're doing, then you're doing the right thing. Got me to thinking about my great grandfathers. So I had two truck drivers, a farmer and a guy with mafia connections. And it made me wonder, I didn't really know them all that well, but I did know my grandfather, which in turn made me think about World War II. He's a World War II veteran. It made me think about the interesting way that people from that generation and people from that era talked. You know, they meant what they said. Their words, their words truly had meaning. They didn't curse all that often in, in, my, in my experience. You know, some of them did naturally but some of them did not. So in the case of, uh, in the case of my grandfather, you know, he talked about the battle of Okinawa. It'd be like, he was, he was serving on the bunker Hill and he'd say, yeah, them kamikazes came in and they got us, but we really gave them the what for like literally that's, that's his response to the action they took against their enemy. We're talking, you know, blowing people out of the sky with machine gun fire equals the what for such an interesting way to talk you know and you think it takes zero imagination think about it, it takes zero imagination you're in uh france ww2 hey jaminski get up on that hill see if you can't give them krauts the what for <laughs> what's that supposed to mean i mean it means you're going to kick their ass right naturally it means you're going to kick their ass but is it you're kicking their ass so bad that they say what did you do that for you know, you like kick their ass so bad that your enemy can't remember what they had against you in the first place. That's giving you the what for. <laughs> Why don't you load some Wiley Pete in that cannon, give them Krauts in that building the what for. Like, so white phosphorus exploding and, and burning people alive is giving them the what for. Hey, Kaminsky, why don't you get up on that pillbox with that flamethrower and give them, give them boys the what for. <laughs> So shooting a pillbox with a flamethrower is the what for. Ah, you gotta love it. To to mean to mean what you say and to mean it and to mean it in a hard way. You know, none of this I promise stuff. Like ah, just the what for is the ass whooping. Love it. I miss him. I miss him, man. He's been gone so long. And uh you know, he didn't, he didn't talk much about the war until much later on, which in a way was an interesting thing because this, this man that I held in, in a high esteem, when he did talk about it, and this circles back to the things we talk about. So in the news, in the conspiracy news, they were talking about martial law, you know? And so grandpa heard that story and he thought, well, I, and he actually said, he said, you know, martial law really isn't that bad. He said, when, when I was in the Navy and we had martial law in Hawaii, it wasn't that bad at all. I mean, we stole a, we stole a Jeep from the shore patrol and were able to go down to the red light district. Didn't even have to bring the Jeep back. It didn't even matter. I don't see what the problem is. I don't see why you guys are complaining about martial law. It's not that bad. It's just crazy stories, man. So whenever you think like, uh, oh, you didn't want to tell us of the horrors of war. You didn't want to tell us of the horrors 
of war. <sighs> Strange stuff, though, man. Giving them the what for. So, this was about as far out as I can stretch from three minutes. So, let me know what y'all think. Comment below. Let me know if your grandpa or even if your great-grandpa was the same way and if you miss them the way that I miss mine. Man. Catch you on the next one.